Satan, had made strive between me and my brethren. Lo, my Lord is tender to whom he wills. He is the knower, the wise. knows how much I love coffee, right? And I make my coffee with. Yeah. Then I was looking real close on how I vote for Muhammad. Everybody knows how much I love coffee, right? And I like to use the purest of the water I make my coffee with. Yeah. Then I was looking real close on this and I said, France from the French Alps? Okay, well, <laughs> I know what to do with this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get rid of it. Okay, no. Nope. I don't care how much it costs me. I cannot put up with the insults of my prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So this is what I'm going to be using in my coffee. And by the way, Muhammad wins my vote. What about yours? Share now. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. I just wanted to remind myself and all of us the importance of supporting those who support us, okay? And we're not taking any ads or commercials on our television channel. Therefore, it means that while we can't really promote any particular brand, what we can do is tell us not to support those who are attacking us. Now, that makes a lot of sense. You don't really necessarily have to buy from this guy or this guy or that guy because that's, that's supporting commercials. And that's, uh, you know, the, the way of the American capitalist system. I get that. But what about the one who is deliberately attacking your beliefs, attacking your faith, attacking no, not only the beliefs and faith, but actually attacking physically and uh, persecuting and abusing, injuring, and even killing some of the Muslims. So that is why we want to insist on this again and again and again by supporting their financial needs, you are contributing to them. And this is, by the way, According to the scholars of Islam, this is haram to support the enemies of Islam. Any more than you would support somebody coming on your property and shooting you or giving you a hard time or abusing your family, then why, why don't we recognize that it's the same exact thing here by supporting financially, then that's a, that's a haram thing to do. All right, so I want to mention that. We have somebody calling us right now. Let me see if I can answer it. I'm going to try. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I can't believe I hit this thing. <laughs> Okay, guys, I made a big mistake tonight, and uh, what I just did was, it, it when I turned it on, it offered right away yes or no, and I hit the yes, but it meant to install a new update, so I've got to wait for the phone to go off and reinstall. Uh, yeah, uh, wow. Yeah. 
If I knew that they did it deliberately, I would drop them like a hot potato, but I can't, uh, I can't get away with that yet. Masha Allah. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to uh, introduce my guest tonight. Let's, let's do that. All right. We, we're going to start with, where is she? Where is Sister Kim? Here Hello. She is. There you are. Assalamu alaikum. Rahmatullahi barakatuh. Did you hear what I just did that I pushed the wrong button just now when it flashed up? It goes from a black screen to, you know, uh, to this white screen and then it just at the bottom. Yes or no? And of course, I, yes. Yes what? I'm going to shut your phone off for a while and reinstall the whole system for you. Yeah, I heard that happen. That's happened to me several times. Um, well, I always put it off. I put it off and, and then let it do it in the middle of the night. But uh, this well, time... I usually do it as soon as it comes up. And um, I wasn't thinking one day we were about 15 minutes out from the show. And when the update came up, I was like, yep, of course. Oh, no, I can't believe I did that. And uh, so I'm sitting there waiting for my phone to reboot so I can get on the air and everything like that. And I think I made it with about five minutes to spare. Oh, mashallah, mashallah. Well, we have another guest with us tonight. Let's bring him up here with us uh, tonight. Salaamu Alaikum, Richard. Alaikum salam. How are oh, everybody? Oh, I like that. Uh, Mashallah. Did you get that tattooed on your chest? Mashallah. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't do tattoos. <laughs> we don't do tattoos. <laughs> no, this is just a holding up. Uh, remind everybody to worship the Creator and not the creations. There you Guide go. Us deep, deep. Um, Mashallah. People worship a lot of things in these days and age, and uh, including themselves. And uh, well, that's true. People do. They, they'll. Uh, you're right. People will worship themselves. Yeah. I, I usually don't think about that, but yeah, that is. That's one of the forms of worship that's forbidden in Islam. Don't yeah, worship yeah, anything yeah. in the creation, including yourself. Masha yeah. Allah. Well, I, what I'd like for us to do tonight is to let everybody know the importance of our channel. I'd like to do some real important things tonight. So if you're sitting there with nothing to do, let's give you something to do. Immediately, we've got three things. There's always like three things for me to, to give you to do. Number one, dua. Okay, so make dua for us. Make dua for Richard and make dua for Sister Kim, and let her know that, uh, you know, that we are supporting what she's trying to do as well. Let's see, where's Sister Kim? There she is. Okay, and uh, then after the duas, I want you to share this. Share this message right now and how you can do that. Number one is to tell other people how you are watching it. So if you're watching us on regular television, if you're watching us on our satellite, if you're watching us in uh, any other places where we're broadcasting over the airwaves, tell other people how you do that. Whether they are, maybe they have a satellite, okay, or maybe they're using it, the, the website that we have, or the new version that we have, it's really cool. And it's, uh, it's in a couple of steps here. Let me see if I can bring it up for everybody to see how that works. I, I think that's a cool idea. Let me, let me see if we can do that real quick. Yeah, here we go. Um, I'm going to put it up so that, let's see. All right, now... Well, I didn't see anything on there, so I'm wondering why it didn't show up. I'm looking at it on the browser here. Let me go back one more step. Ah, that was it. I had it too high up. 
there we go now you can see for yourself why we didn't see it because I had it too high up okay anyway if you go to what's that on your phone on your computer on your tablet however you're watching us any kind of a device what you can do is go to guide us dot app not guide us dot tv guide us dot a double p guide us dot a double p and what that'll do is bring this up okay and whenever you're looking at that there is at the bottom corner let me see if i can make that show up yeah i don't know why it's so small but i didn't design it so that's okay but you see where it says live down on the bottom that is uh, yeah click on the live then the screen will go white and we have to bring it down so that you can see there it's not laid out very good in fact i've seen amateurs do a better job of it but that's beside the point it works very well on phones it doesn't work very well on laptops and pcs ah i get that i get that i understand now so this was made for is particularly for the phones and that all right okay but anyway you see it here at the very top it says live then right underneath that it says live tv hd and live tv sd always hit the hd high definition and then it will come up you see it here at the very top it says live then right underneath okay because it that is the live that we're doing right there obviously yeah uh, let's see if i can move it up here we are and so what you're seeing there is actually what i just did because that is the the live broadcast anyway so let's see if it will I'm going to refresh it and see what we get now. MashaAllah. This right. did. Because that is the, the live broadcast. Now, what you're seeing right now is the television channel. That's But that's the 30-second delay that I'm always telling everybody about. That's why I say, coming to you live all the way from our studio. And then I ch change it and I go, coming to you almost live from our studios here in Southern California because it is never really that live. So, yeah, anyway. So tell everybody how you're watching the channel right now. And uh, let me get you, get back to me almost live. There we go. <laughs> Wow. And if you are watching us, uh, obviously, on social media, then we want you to promote that as well. Let's see. I want to shut some of this stuff off so that uh, we'll get our browser back down to something normal. Yeah. Oh, you know what would be nice is to see some nice uh, images of things that make us feel good. Let's do that right now. There. There. Ah, now doesn't that make you feel better? So we'll put up some of the things that make us feel nice, make us feel good, make us feel warm. Ah, yeah. And not things, that, oh, scary, scary. Uh, here's one that's really crazy looking. Isn't that crazy? Uh. All right, so what we've got here now yeah, just some of the images that we usually put up when somebody's talking. I try to find images on the internet to throw up there for them to have a look at. All right? Okay, so there's two things that we've already mentioned. Making dua and sharing. Sharing, telling everybody. So, and if you're on the internet right now, please share this. 
Well, my phone is restarting, okay? It says that I'm up to 77%, something like that, and uh, almost ready. Messed that one up tonight, didn't I? Anyway, so the third thing I want you to do is what? I want you to tell everybody, this is a kind of sharing again, tell everybody about the two things that they can do right now. And that is to volunteer to help us, like our sister Kim and uh, also our brother Richard. Uh, let, let's put, put him up as well. Let's see. Uh, I think you went to sleep. I'm not asleep. There you go. Okay. <laughs> ah, mashallah. Yeah, I'm just watching. Well, yeah, but uh, see, whenever there's no sound, what will happen is that it will switch <laughs> over to the sister. And... Uh, <coughs> well, I can do a song and dance if it will entertain people. Right? Well... well well, that, that might be a good idea, too. That's a good idea. <laughs> Mashallah. What song are you going to sing, Kim? I'm sorry, what was that? What song would you sing? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> Near Dal Yankovic. What's that? Ah, Probably my... something by Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, Weird Al Yankovic? Isn't he the son of Frankie Yankovic? No, they're not related. They're not. Uh, okay. No, but he decided to learn the accordion because he had heard about Frankie Yank Yankovic. Oh, okay. Because I know they both played it, and being from Ohio, I thought, wow, that uh, must be his son or nephew or something. No, nope, there's no relation. Okay, well, that's uh, comforting to know and uh, somehow. Uh, Weird Al Yank Yankovic is one character, a, a real character. <laughs> but uh, Frankie Yankovic was uh, a different kind of character because he got in trouble for, they called him a draft dodger because he didn't want to go and kill people. So, yeah, that that was kind of what he was known for at his time. Uh, Richard, do you remember that? Uh, Frankie Yankovic? No, I don't. I, I, I know the name. I've heard what, what Kim was mentioning, Wild wild Somebody Yankovic or something. I've heard something like that's a familiar name, but I, I've never heard him. Oh, okay. Frankie. Frankie Yankovic was a very famous accordion player. I'm getting concerned with your coughing. Should you be wearing a mask? <laughs> no, I've just got a tickle here in my throat, drinking water. Yeah. Well, we can put that up. Let's let's put that up there and let people see. That's America's Polka King, according to the promos on him. That he was America's polka king because he played the what? Wait for it. Okay. There it is. He was an accordion player. MashaAllah. Yep. That was that was Frankie Yankovic. Then in his Now while we're on the subject of musicians as they've come up, what is Islam's stance on listening to things like accordion music. Well, if anybody could tolerate it, that, that would be one thing, you know. <laughs> That's for sure. That's for sure. The, the only thing that I thought was uh, probably more, I don't know, even, I, no, I think that was the number one thing that, that people used to laugh about in when it came to the music industry is to laugh about accordion players uh, and make fun of them and uh, yeah really you don't want to do that if you're in Philadelphia they take accordion playing very seriously there yeah they have, they have accordion marching bands 
uh, in Philadelphia uh, in large numbers. Uh, they have a big parade every year. It's a it's an accordion and a banjo and a saxophone band. They call themselves the Mummers. Okay. Well, we got a new problem. We got the phone ringing now, but it won't answer. And the code that I have is not working. So, one thing after the other, right, guys? MashaAllah. Anyway, let's go to the accordion. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's Allah punishing us. Uh, for bringing up the accordion. Let me try it again. I'm going to try to answer it. You now it's asking me if I want to make a call. I can hear my phone ringing and nothing I can do about it. Oh, it's loud. Yep, that's great, isn't it? That is really great. It's still doing the same thing. So when we got it working yesterday, they wanted to make sure that it wouldn't work again tonight because uh, I guess because they they know that I spoke about them. No way to answer it. No possible way to answer this. You see, it's ringing, but there's no there's no there's no button to push. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. By the way, if you don't have Verizon, hey, hey. Yo, they shut off when I started mentioning their name. Wow. Yeah. Give me the phone that didn't work. Yeah, there you go. Now I don't have a phone. That feels much better. Alhamdulillah. So if we have a phone number up here, don't call it. Alhamdulillah. No. And uh, and don't play any accordion music. Okay. I probably oh, there, is, there is one instrument worse. That's the bagpipe. The bagpipe is is like chalk fingernails on the chalkboard to me. It's um it's, it's an interesting instrument. Well, I love bagpipes. But I, you know, but you do know in the Quran, uh, when the end times are announced, it's going to be announced by a trumpet. By a what? A trumpet. A puppet? Trumpet. A trumpet. Oh, yeah, the blaring of the trumpet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I thought at first I was thinking you, you were referring to President Trump, and I was like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're just, I just brought that up because as a kid, I was very enamored by the accordion. And so that was what mm -hmm. I spent the first six years of music with that instrument and teaching it as well. So, and that led to the keyboard, which led to the organs, the pianos, and that's how we got into that industry. And when I got to Islam, it became crystal clear that that is not something that Allah likes. And so for that reason, we left that industry altogether. Yeah. And I had an accordion, a very nice accordion at that time. And when I asked the Imam about it, he said, I cannot tell you what to do. I said, well, make a suggestion. I said, can I sell it? He said, well, if you do, then you the money from it would still, when you sell something that's haram, the money from it would also be haram. And I was thinking, if it's that bad, so... Uh, as I was leaving the masjid, I saw one of those great big dumpsters, you know, and uh, I stopped and just picked it up and threw it into the dumpster and went on my business. 
So that so when people come to me and start talking about, oh, I can't give up music. Uh, well, <laughs> people have given up a lot more than that to come to Islam. And uh, I think that it might be a good idea for us to consider that before we start saying what we can't do. Because there are a lot Even of people. It is not hard. I was a radio DJ for 10 years and uh, we played classic rock. And when I learned that I'm going to say certain types of music were haram because a cappella music is okay. And so is music that's played along with the daf, the hand drum. Duff, uh, duff, say D-U-F, duff. Oh, duff, duff, I apologize. Yeah, it's okay. Um, it's easy to say that because the, most people spell it D-A-F-F. -F. And it's supposed to be pronounced duff. Anyway, go ahead. Um, so you were in the radio I, industry, and and that's a, a something that I was fascinated with when I was a, about, uh, I think I was about 10 years old. My sister and I went to a radio station on top of a building that my father had uh, his business in that building. So it was on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, Christmas Day. And the person that, who was the DJ who was operating everything there was all by himself. So my sister and I went up there. My father said, get out of here and go do something else. And so we did. And we went up to the top floor and we went in there. And he was so happy to have somebody on the air with him, you know, just to talk to because he didn't know if anybody was even watching him. And so uh, as we were talking and I was watching him push buttons and talk to the people and carrying on. And I said, you know what? I want to do that. And that's how I got inspired to get into the radio business and uh, the radio and taping on the old reel to reels and big, big uh, Mylar tape in those big reels yeah and you had to wipe the tape by putting a giant magnet on it you remember that i remember that i learned all that in college ah well i learned it the hard way <laughs> yeah we say we're on the air dun 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 and that was radio in those days mashallah mashallah and I, just, hey, I go back to uh, seeing that kind of thing as well. Um, I had some music groups when I worked in the uh, in the church world, and we did some recordings. And there was these big, you know, uh, mylar reels of of tape and all these switches and signals. And now people can record with a laptop. Well, you can so, record with your phone. Yeah, for that for as well. Yeah, but started, was, you just can't answer it. Yeah, that's that's the only problem with the, the phone today. It doesn't work as a phone anymore. You can still take pictures yeah. with it. You can still, uh, yeah, yeah, you can record stuff with it. You can make videos. You can connect to the internet. You can check your emails. You just can't answer the phone. People can call you even, but but I'm well, not going to. We've come, I'm, I'm we've come full circle. We have these things in our hands, but we don't use them to talk to each other anymore. Well, we I have guess... gone full circle from the very beginning when uh, people used to communicate with telegraph with one letter at a time, punching in a little thing. And we finally had Graham Bell come along, Alexander Graham Bell, and gave us uh, the ability to speak words. And we we improved on that forever and ever. And now we're clear back to Nobody talks to each other. They just go back to telegraphing each other with text. And so we don't talk to each other anymore. We're about where we've gone back to uh, beginning days where we're trying to communicate. I think the next thing is somehow probably will be we'll put the phone down and do smoke signals. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm putting up a picture of an old telephone back in the day this very much looks like the first telephone that we had if i'm if i'm not mistaken i think it's pretty close to the phone that my mom and dad had in our house 
I, I know it's very similar to the one my grandmother had. I think she had a phone before we did. Uh, but uh, that's, mm -hmm. that's a look at it. Uh, you see the numbers on this one. This one is old because it, it, it's so old, it did not have the, the letters on it. Uh, mm -hmm. Now you see the, the two has ABC on it and mm -hmm. the three has DEF on it and so on. But this one is so old and you see that cord hanging down there on the side. The that cord, cord is very much like the cords that we used to have to be real careful with it, that they would break after a while yeah. when they got yeah. old. And then they come out with a more modern looking phone. I'll, I'll put one of those up and you can see that. Let's see if we can put it up here. Yeah, here you go. That's a little bit more modern. That's another view If of anybody it. wants a good giggle, look for a video of um, children trying to use a rotary phone. <laughs> and they're, they are completely, they have no clue. Yeah. I, have one, I have one like this right now. Uh, the, the one that we're showing right now, I do have one. We don't use it, of course, but uh, it is... It, I guess it would work. I don't know, but I have one out in our uh, back room. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we got into these kind of phones and this, and with the, and this, by the way, it's not wireless, but it no. just doesn't show the wire on here, but you see the big letters on there. We thought no. that was so cool, so modern, you know, to, to have the push button. Wow. But uh, take a break. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, maybe well, in the break we can figure out how to get the phone to work again. That would be a good thing to do. All right, let's talk about how we can support Guidance TV and how important it is to, to do this. You can share this, let people know. If anybody donates, you will get the reward for it. If you're just sharing it, just sharing it, you'll get the reward of a donation. So this is why it's important. And then we'll tell you how to do it when we come back. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. And that's right. We're right across the river from Palestine. As a matter of fact, here in Aqaba, the new moon, the Hilal, has been sighted for the month of Shawwal. When the event is called, it doesn't matter where you are. You go and you make your salah, alhamdulillah. No, I think this is something that, inshallah ta'ala, will all be able to benefit from. Guide Us TV is free. No ads, no spam, no big business. Just free. Log in now and make your contribution today to support your favorite project at Donate to And we are back. See how fast that was? Okay. DonateIslam.com. That is one of the ways that you can support the channel right away. Also, you can support it by your du'as because... If Allah answers your prayers for our operation, or even when people come to Islam, we get rewarded, and that's all good. So help others to know about Guidance TV. If they appreciate it, they want to support it, that's a good thing to do. DonateIslam.com is one of our projects. That's only one. The Guide Us TV is a project, not the only thing we do. This one hour that we're doing live is part of a system that we have in place to help people know about Islam, how to get to Islam, how to stay in Islam, learn the physical things that you're supposed to do out through the days, and also to try to help in some ways for a person to make the adjustment from coming from a non-Islamic environment to the Islamic environment, because it is truly different, especially on the inside, especially on the inside. It may not look like a whole lot on the outside, but the inside, because you're changing how you feel and how you think. Mm -hmm. The first and foremost is what we started the program with, talking about 
worship the creator, not the creation. And then we put Guide Us TV at the bottom of it. That's not the only thing we have. We have, uh, we added some new websites today and we probably have about 4,100, maybe a little over 4,100 websites as of right now. And those websites are all designed to help further the cause of what we're doing in different ways. One of the things that we have, and I can put that up for us right now, that's a good idea to, to show you something called shareislam.com. Let's see if we can put that up. Let's see if it works. There it is. Ah, I don't know why it takes so long for this. To... Huh? Okay, well, yeah, that's another problem that we got today. I don't know why we're having these these difficulties, but it's all fun, right, guys? Yep. So, what's uh, what's everybody's opinion on the uh, the new vaccine coming out to solve uh, the COVID virus? I know we have a history now of uh, some Muslim couple that uh, were part of the invention. Is uh, well, that, I don't want to. I don't want to make it look like this is like isolated and that they're the only ones who have done anything because there are others who have come up with various types of vaccines. Now, what what we know now is Modera and Pfizer are the two big companies that are competing with each other to produce this uh, vaccine in different ways. But both of them require two injections, one, and that will really help a person right away. And then the one for the longevity of the uh, thing to ongoing, you know, is the second one that they would take. So it takes two injections. But now I read today that there is something else. And Trump was talking about it today. President Trump was talking about this that there is, well, I think it was yesterday, but talking about this particular company that's having one injection only, but none of them are readily available for the masses yet because it takes time to produce them. And yeah. it, you have to understand they're being very careful, even though they've cut down a lot of time, they're still having to be careful of the production itself. And that's going to, it's going to be into the next year because uh, face it, what is today? The 13th? Well, we've only got about two weeks left in this whole year anyway. Right. So, yeah. So we need to realize that that has, it's just not going to happen this year. However, in the next, uh, I would say, maybe early spring, something like that, it would be more readily available here. However, in the in the United Kingdom, they have it no. and they're giving it out right now because they were wise in how they hooked that up and did the, they put their orders in early. Yeah. yeah. You remember the days when the uh, polio vaccine came out? Uh, Yes, I do. I yeah. am that old. You are right. Yeah, me too. I, you know, it's interesting because a lot of people are questioning whether or not they should get the uh, COVID vaccine. Like they don't trust the government. They don't trust this or the other. But I remember when, uh, you know, Jonas Salk came out with the, 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 the vaccine for polio. They just, they went to the schools and they, and they vaccinated all of us. Um, they just wind us up in the cafeteria and away we went and nobody questioned it. It was like, Oh good. This was going to, well, I'm cure. older than you because when that happened, I was already out of school. Oh yeah. I okay. never, I never had the polio vaccine. I never did. I never got it. Oh wow. Yeah, I used to get a, a vaccine and you get a booster every couple of years, 
and uh, they just ran us through the schools, at least in Maryland, where I was from. And uh, and I, I remember standing in line in the cafeteria and taking my turn and going, ouch, and that hurt. But it was yeah. for the... Well, uh, Sister yeah. Kim, did what, what was your experience with that? I was a little baby. Um, the polio vaccine, I think they give it six months now. And, um, so I was too young to remember that. Um, but what you, I remember being, you got it. So, right. Oh, I got it. Um, what I remember giving out in schools was they made us, uh, rinse with fluoride once a week. Mm. And now I don't even think they do that anymore. Fluoride. Yeah, we'd have to do a fluoride rinse for our teeth once a week. We had a dental practitioner come in and everybody rinsed with a little cup of fluoride and she went on her way. Wow. I, 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 I don't remember anything about that. Of course, uh, that would have been for my kids, but I don't remember them having to, to rinse out with the fluoride. Oh, uh, yeah, Richard. Huh? Maybe it was just in Massachusetts then. Well, it could be. Yeah, because in Texas, you always find a resistance. A lot of people <laughs> resist anything that's yeah. uh, not tried and proven or uh, approved by the local pickup drivers. <laughs> that's one of the things that's very disappointing about this vaccine is the polls are showing that about 48% of people uh -huh. are saying that we're not going to take it. And I would not be surprised if by summer of next year, by that time, we should have a good spread of people who have taken the vaccine. I wouldn't be surprised if you have to show proof that you have the vaccine in well, order to get into any large gathering. Or like an if you're airplane. Going to a or an airplane. airplane. Yeah, to fly from one community to another to fly to from one country what are you doing? to another you're, you're via you're taking my rights away from me what are you doing what are you doing well they ask me you yeah. know somebody asked me just the other day what was my take on that will i accept that vaccine for myself and i had to really think about it i said well why why wouldn't i but then uh there is something inside of all of us that says no, 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 be careful. And I don't know what that is. Well, it's very interesting that there's going to be a TV show with uh, former Presidents Bush, uh, Barack Obama, and Bill Clinton all receiving the vaccine at the same time uh, to uh, show the nation that it's safe. I would assume that our current president is not uh, be among them. Well, that's probably why they have to get so many others. <laughs> yeah. And, if you uh, get the sitting president to do something, you don't have to get all the other people to do it. You, they say, yeah, well, yeah. we'll follow the president. You know. Well, one thing that they did say, this was just out in the news today, when they were talking about the um, plan for uh, allocating the vaccines, the entire White House staff is right at the top. They're going to be some of the first ones getting it. Huh. Not good. They make that public so that their followers will do it, because they're they're the ones who don't want to do it. It's the uh, the Trumpsters, uh, the uh, the street people, and uh, if they see the, uh, we'll see if the president gets it. Well, wait a minute. What was that comment you made about street people? They don't live in the street. The, the, the people were out protesting everything. There was there was another big march in Washington. Uh, with the Proud Boys and everybody else the other day saying uh, Trump's been uh, cheated and um, and he deserves and, you know, Biden's presidency is illegitimate. And uh, and they're the ones that say we are not taking the vaccine because they're coming after our guns and everything else. And uh, so it made no sense. But, the, yeah, they're doing that kind of thing. So I call them it's kind of the street people who because there's actually the news of following around is these crowds have, seem to be mobile. Um, there could be a, a rally in Baltimore and all of a sudden they're there. And then there's one in Tulsa 
and there's they're all there and uh i think they just have buses and they just keep moving uh, the same people different rallies just to make it seem like there's a lot of upheaval and um and problems here in our country and it seems to be a lot of the same the same folks so um but we'll see if they i want to see if president trump will publicly take it well now my other phone is acting up let me see if it'll answer nope it's doing exactly the same thing that is too much i cannot believe that this this phone is ringing but there's no way to answer it <laughs> it just when i go to the i'll show you guys look it's it's showing me that i can make a phone call right now let me try to make a phone call that's a good idea let me see uh All right. Well, no, maybe not. I'm going to try to make a phone call right now to our uh, alternate location. Yeah, there we go. Wa alaikum salam, rahmatullah. I just now found out I can make a phone call on my other phone, but I still can't receive a call. Did you try to call me? No. No? Okay, well both phones are d- acting up now. That's great. All right. Assalamu alaikum. All right. Put in the bedroom so we can't hear them. Well, yeah. So they don't disturb us. Uh, I guess uh he's going to have to call you tonight to let you know when to go off the air because I just had to get rid of my other phone cuz okay. it... Yeah. All right. Wow. Alhamdulillah. So mm. again, I'd like to remind everybody if you don't already have Verizon, maybe you don't want to get it. <laughs> we don't take ads for anything, but I'll tell you right away what I'm not going to promote whatever. And that one of them is the water that's coming out of France because yeah. they have insulted our profit and for me that's that, that's it i i don't think there's uh anybody in there that can convince me that they're going to change how they treat women and imagine allowing making a law that a woman can take her clothes off but she can't put clothes on she can't cover her face she can't yeah. cover her uh, her uh, you know any part of her face uh, if she does they lock her up Now, with the COVID virus, everybody has to cover their face, but she must not make it look like she's wearing niqab. And, and that's crazy. That is really crazy. By the way, I don't know if the, they know this or not, but the whole idea of getting those masks over the face to prevent the spread of disease came from Muslims. Mm-hmm. that's where it came from guys uh, if you didn't believe me that's fine you don't have to believe anything i tell you but that is very much documented within the medical profession also the historic folks will tell you um they, they, let me show you something that the europeans did if i can do this that was uh the quarantine and doctors uh i don't remember the plague doctors the what plague, plague doctors. doctor yes plague doctor let's let's see if we can bring that up and let let you just look at this there you go this the it looks like a w- really weird thing to see this uh yeah this is a, a better picture there you go they put this uh that beak looking thing on there i don't know why they did that but uh, somebody came up with that idea 
they first observed the way that the Muslims looked and then they added that uh, extension on the face. But this the was The reason quite... they did that is they would, at the time, they thought that um, the plague and things like that were passed on um, bad odors in the air. And so they would take that beak and they would stuff it with flowers. And um, oh. that they were smelling good things rather than the bad air, which would give them the plague. Well, this is this was plague doctors, and th the reason that they did all of this is because that they learned from the Muslims about covering their face and covering around. And let me just see if I can focus on this enough that you can get the the essence of this. Here we go. Except for the beak part of it. Uh, what now sister has told us that that's there's flowers in there and i i get that but look at the wrapping on there if that's not the same as a, one of our sisters wrapping up their the their shoulders and their hair and everything the hat is a bit of an innovation but uh, if we compare that to the niqab watch this a cob. All right, let's have a look. You can see that, uh, oh, let's say a little bit off centered. Let me try to straighten it up. Give you a, a better shot of this. All right. Ah, here's one. If you if you look real close at this, you can see that the the way that the sisters have this on is very similar to what you're seeing there with, with of course without that weird extension in the front. Let's see if we can show you another one. Now this is an example here that you can look at. The on the far left, it's that's hijab in general. The one that's uh, next to that is chowder, and then the one next to that is niqab, and then the burqa. Mm -hmm. Let me see if I can make it come down a little bit. Uh, the burqa. It, it's totally covered up. Let me see if I got another one on that. Yeah, there you go. And another one. Another one. There you go. The one on the far right. So hijab, and then the middle one, niqab, and then the burqa. The burqa has a like a uh, net over the eyes. You can't see her eyes at all. And that was popular... I don't know if it's still popular in parts of Pakistan and uh, Afghanistan. Sister, are you, are you familiar with any of that? I know that it's popular in parts of Saudi Arabia. It's not as popular in Afghanistan as it used to be. Um, I didn't ever but... see, I've never seen it. And I've been to Saudi many times, but I have never seen the burqa in Saudi, the blue thing with the with the uh, mask on it. I, I've never seen that. Yes, part. I've seen it on the news. Oh, um, well, yeah, the news. Yeah, right. Uh, they, they'll pull up any kind of a picture and show it and try to make it look like. But this is, uh, I think this was in Malaysia, this particular picture is in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. Now, this is not the burqa, but it is uh, the niqab. You can see that uh, the, the lady, she has her eyes showing, but their eyes in the background, you can see that they've got that veil looking thing over it. So you might see something similar to the burqa mm -hmm. in parts of Indonesia or Malaysia. 
but not it's not a common thing. What's more common is uh, something like this. My wife and my daughters, they used to do that until I asked them, please, to stop doing that uh, while we were in an area at a time when people were taking pot shots at the uh, ladies just because they're wearing that. By the way, it's interesting to note that the different dress code of the nuns or the habit of the nuns uh, it would surprise you that they would have, uh, uh, let's see what we can pull up here. Let's just see some of those pictures. Yeah, here you go. Uh, this is a nun, and uh, it's very similar to the dressing or the, the covering, sorry, of the Muslims. Very similar, I think. And there's some different styles. Different. Uh, and also they would uh, have something that would indicate where, what they were doing. In other words, like uh, this is Sister So-and-So. She's the head of this or the, the uh, Mother Superior and so on. And you would see these different uh, I don't want to say costumes, but kind of, yeah. There you go. That's another one. So, let me see if I, sometimes they also wore the face cover. So, let me see if I can find one of the ones, face cover. Yeah, this is, this is a Catholic nun. Right here, she is wearing that exact same thing that, uh, for all intents and purposes, except for the color, that mm -hmm. looks like a burqa. Here's another one. And uh, here's another one. And keep in mind, these are, these are all veiled Catholic nuns mm -hmm. that... Uh, oh, Oh, and check this one out. Except for the color, again, you can tell that this, this is very much covering up her face. There's another one. Here's another one. Oh, that's this. Let me see if I can put that down more in perspective for you. We're going to have to ro roll out because they're, they're telling us that we're... but. This last one. Yeah. I think that kind of gets the point across, though, that it depends on what religion you are and what you can get away with. France is famous for having Catholics, for having nuns, for having women covering themselves all up. But it's just the fact that if a Muslim does it, it doesn't work. So that it's crystal clear. I don't care how they try to soft soap it or try to tell you, you know, like go around the corner here or there or in their conversation. doesn't work. And... Uh, Time to wrap it up. Huh? Wrap, wrap it up. up. All right, we're going to wrap it up. That's a good idea. And hopefully tomorrow night we're going to have something a lot better. So here's how to watch Guidus TV. Guys, stay tuned. Stay guided. Well, guide us to Here are some ways to get Goddess TV. Via satellite on Galaxy 19 FTA. At this satellite frequency, transponder rate 5, frequency 11836 MHz, polarity vertical, symbol rate 20770, FEC 3 quarters, channel ID, Guide US TV. You can also download the app to your smartphone. Available for iPhones from the App Store. For Android on Google Play. And now Guide Us TV is available on Roku. Get guided with Guide Us TV. Here are some ways to get Guide Us TV. Via satellite on Galaxy 19 FDA. 
at this satellite frequency. Transponder rate, 5. Frequency, 11836 megahertz. Polarity, vertical, 